Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be tearing down the inside of Carmen Van Diego to refinish the seat pedestals. So let's jump right in and check out what we got going on. All right, so as you can see, my seat pedestals have seen way better days. They have seriously deteriorated. The rubberized coating that goes on them is literally just falling off. So the idea is to completely remove the coating on the seat pedestals and then coat them in Herculiner brand bed liner. Definitely have another couple plans while we're here under this seat. I'm going to mount a new fuel tank for the diesel heater. And then under this seat, I plan to get this subwoofer under there. The battery that is under that seat is going to be put under the rear bench seat to get rid of the long battery cable that goes to the starter. All right, so now that we got a rough plan laid out, I'm going to set up the camera and tear into this. I've been preserving this for so long that it almost hurts me to take it off. Alright guys, so we're not really even that far in and we've already found a couple of things that are a little bit mm, not great. So I'm going to go over those right now. Alright, so the first thing I noticed when pulling back the rubber was this. Uh, now we aren't new to rust holes here on this van, but that one's a pretty sizable one. Uh, right at the battery box. So uh, I'm going to have to cut this whole section out uh, to get rid of that rust. So that's number one. And then there's the battery box itself. I haven't gotten down to cleaning it out. It's still really dirty, so uh, I don't know how much rust resides here in the original battery box itself, but we aren't going to cover up rust. We're going to go ahead and fix it. So we're going to get this all vacuumed out and cleaned up so that we can see what's underneath. You're looking at about 40 years of accumulation here. Underneath this foam, it looks like there's a possibility that we have more rust. We got a little bit of focus in here. There we go. Yeah, you can see that we're we've obviously gotten some more rust starting here. It's going to be a matter of grinding it all out, seeing what's good, what's bad, and going from there. Now you could also see in the video uh, these wires ran for the stereo. This was a quick job before I went on a trip here recently to wire in that subwoofer that we talked about earlier. So this is all going to get cleaned up while we're doing this job. Okay, so other than that nonsense in here, um, everything came off pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get this all scuffed up and prepped and ready. You can see some spots where I used 3M tape to hold the rubber on, which worked pretty well for a while. Uh, I'm going to get the inside of the battery box cleaned out, figure out what needs to be repaired. 
All right, so as you can see, I got a little bit of work ahead of me. Uh, so I'm going to put you up on the tripod, and I'm going to start getting this all cleaned out. All right, so it's time to see what was hiding under all that foam. Now, it's not really as bad as I initially thought, looking from the top. Uh, there's no perforation. Everything seems fairly solid. Um, I'm going to go over it with a wire brush and tap on it with a scribe and just try and get it to give, and hopefully the metal is still fairly sound in here. Down here... Uh, metal's looking a little thin, maybe right here in the corner of the box. And that's pretty much where that rust hole is here also. Um, the battery cables are not going to matter anymore. They're being removed because the battery is being put under the bench seat. I know I've said that a few times now. And again, this seat is going to have the subwoofer built in underneath it, and then this seat is going to have a bigger diesel tank installed in it. I initially had a one gallon tank out of a riding lawnmower, but it only offered me about a day of use. So I'm going to try and get a tank or build a tank that fills this entire space completely and have a filler neck back here. That way uh, I have plenty of diesel storage for the heater uh, and it's in a space that I really don't use anyways. This is always ends up being a catch-all for clutter and I'd love for it to actually be a fully usable space. Alright guys, so as you can see we got into a little bit more work than I initially planned for this video to be. So next video is going to be uh, figuring out what we need to cut out, what we need to weld in, and then we can move on with coating this with bed liner. 
So I hope you'll hop in on our next video, check out what's going on, and uh, we'll see you next time. Oh yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button.